It's the most grisly crime imaginable. The dismembered body of a beautiful woman stuffed into two duffel bags, dumped in a field behind a grocery store in Bethany, Oklahoma. Was she forced to make a snuff film? The individuals who are responsible for this don't care about human life. In those bags, the work of sadistic monsters. The woman's head, hands, and feet were literally sawed off. I mean, to think that here in Oklahoma City, we have some young girl getting dismembered is pretty horrific. And the autopsy shows the killer even tried to cut off a tattoo to avoid identification of the victim. Cops say that points to the work of drug and human traffickers. It hurts physically at times. Karina Saunders' mother, Marjorie, is still trying to come to terms with her daughter's violent death. Karina was a pretty 19-year-old who reportedly got caught up in a web of darkness, including drugs and illegal activities. I think shows we have a significant and serious uh, trafficking problem in regards to the sex trade. In fact, detectives believe Karina Saunders' violent murder happened in this now demolished building a hotbed of criminal activity. Traffic in and out all day and all night long over there. Girls and guys in there hollering and screaming and fighting each other, and you can literally hear them hitting each other. After Karina's remains were discovered, cops quickly busted two suspects, Jimmy Massey and Luis Ruiz. Both were charged with first-degree murder in connection with the slaying. Court documents reveal that Massey, who was already in the county jail on drug charges, bragged to another inmate he was involved in the homicide. It seemed an open and shut case. Not so fast. Due to a lack of physical evidence, the charges against the two men were dropped. Even so, police say Ruiz and Massey are not free from suspicion because those charges could be refiled later. You have a high pressure investigation. It ups the incentive for officers or detectives to go after sources more aggressively, to do things that are less reliable. Then, a stunning turn. After the release of Massey and Ruiz, three officers are now under investigation. Reports saying they used deceptive and misleading tactics to manipulate the criminal case against Massey and Ruiz. The officer says, you're gonna go to prison. You're probably gonna lose everything you have in life because of what you've been caught doing, unless you can help me out here. Unbelievably, Karina's torture was reportedly captured in bone-chilling detail on videotape for the making of what is called a snuff film, where people are raped and killed on video. The films are allegedly sold on the black market for top dollar. It was a setup. I mean, it was a tripod with a real camera. According to police, multiple witnesses reportedly claimed to have seen the video and say Luis Ruiz, the same suspect cops had to kick loose can clearly be seen taking part in her murder. The OSBI has a strong belief that there is in existence a video of the murder. We have strong reason to believe that that video still exists. Now, Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations is offering the largest monetary reward allowed by state law to get their hands on a copy. If there are those in the public who know where that video exists, we are offering up to a $10,000 reward for that video. A woman who claims she saw the video is an alleged prostitute. Her attorney, Scott Adams, says he brokered a deal for the informant to speak with detectives, and she was promised she would remain anonymous. Instead, her identity was released to the public. That woman is now in fear for her life. She doesn't get off the streets. I don't think she'll make it. I think they'll kill her. And uh, I think that she needs to go into hiding for a while until all the smoke clears. While the investigation continues, Karina's mother lives in excruciating pain over the senseless and brutal murder of her daughter. Five years is a long time to not be able to speak or hold or hug my daughter. And says she will never rest until the people involved pay for what they did. And to her killers, know that we will never give up until justice is served.